I'm staring in the sun I got a blind eye A hole inside my heart video on how to become successful on YouTube and if you guys have noticed in the past few days I recently hit 12,000 subscribers which is crazy because I haven't even been on here for a year yet. I've been on here for less than that because my one year mark is in February so I still have a few more months to go and that's so crazy I think to hit 12,000 in that short of a time and also I recently became partnered through the Style Hall channel, so I also have that and I have a banner now and everything, which I thought it would take me so much longer to do that and that was a goal of mine when I first started YouTube and I finally accomplished it. So I'm doing this video to give you some tips and tricks on starting your channel and how to become successful. And I'm not saying that when you do these things that you'll automatically become popular and gain more subscribers and everything but these will just help you so let's just jump right into it and the first thing is your username and the username that you pick is something that's going to stay with you forever especially if you do get popular on YouTube and gain a lot of subscribers that's what you'll be known by because I know for me a lot of different people that I like to watch I usually call them by their username not usually their name just because you get used to it so you want to do a username that you really like maybe have your name in it or have it to do with what you're making videos on and also would be don't put a ton of numbers at the end and I understand putting some numbers because sometimes you can't avoid it but I wouldn't put like one, two, seven, nine, six, four, five, like a big long number, just maybe put like one or two or something. So that's the tips on first when you start it picking out the username, you want something that you'd really like. Then the next tip would be do videos on something that you love to do or are very passionate about. So with me, I do beauty and fashion videos, obviously, but if you like to dance or do other things and you're not really into beauty and fashion then obviously don't do your videos on that you want to do something that you really love to do because it does show in your videos and so that's why I do beauty and fashion videos because I really just love that type of stuff so then the next thing is the video quality and this is just one of those things when you first start off you might not want to buy an expensive camera like I understand that but you wouldn't want to start doing videos on something that's really blurry and fuzzy. For me, I started off making videos on my iPad and then I started making them on my computer and that's a pretty decent quality if you have a Mac computer or something like that, that the webcams are usually pretty good so you could start off like that and then move on maybe to a video camera or a picture taking camera. Right now I use the Sony Handycam and the quality is actually really good. I can upload in HD. So just something like that. Maybe invest in one if you start to get serious about it. But at first you don't need something great. It's just you wouldn't want it to be like all blurry all over the screen. And also when you first start making videos, I do things that are really popular on YouTube. So some things that are beauty videos, I know that like what's in my bag videos are really watched, room tours, makeup collections, different tag videos are always really popular. Start off by doing those because you'll usually get more views on those and then you'll get more viewers and hopefully people will subscribe to you. So that's something is to start off doing popular videos. The next thing would be to be yourself and just don't try and be another person who's on YouTube. Like, I love Mac Barbie. I love her videos. She's awesome, but you don't want to try and be those people because there's already one of them on YouTube. So if you're pretending to be somebody else or acting like them, people will notice it. And why would they watch your videos when they can watch the original person? So just be yourself, be unique, and do your videos. And another thing would be to think of creative ideas. So spend time thinking of really cool things that you've never 
seen on YouTube before and spend time editing your videos too. Like, don't just upload something that's like a 20 minute video because most likely nobody will watch it. But if you clip it and everything, then you'll get a good video and maybe even put cool effects on it if you do have a good video editor. I just use iMovie, the newest one that they have right now, and that works pretty good for me anyways. And lastly would be to have fun making your videos because that also will show in your videos. If you're having a fun time and enjoy doing it, then that will show in your videos. And also, you never know how long you're going to be making videos, so you want to have fun while you're doing it because most likely you won't be doing it forever, so you want to have fun while it lasts and while you are making videos. So I would just have fun with your channel, everything about it, making your videos, decorating your channel, all those cool things. Just have fun doing it and if you're going to start off by making videos just because you want viewers and subscribers, then honestly just don't make a channel. Like It should be because you actually like doing this stuff. And so those are just some of the tips that I have for you guys. Hope you guys found this helpful and that if you guys create a channel or have a channel now that this will help you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you aren't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Lay my head next to yours, born to